Good morning, Queensland. Uh, I can update Queenslanders to advise that there is one new case today. Uh, this new case is locally acquired on the Gold Coast and is linked with the existing cluster. So that brings this cluster on the Gold Coast to four people. Uh, the person has been in the community for a number of days infectious and we understand may have recently travelled from New South Wales. So we're still getting details around that, but this may end up being the source of this cluster. But uh, having said that, there is still a risk on the Gold Coast because uh, there are a number of uh, these positive cases that have been in the community for a number of days. So please, we want anyone on the Gold Coast to come out and get tested if you have any symptoms whatsoever. We have seen our testing numbers go up. Uh, so we're now at 39 active cases. We've had 12,468 tests in the last 24 hours, uh, which is great to see so many people still coming out and getting tested, and 10,443 vaccines. Now we are at 87.37% first doses and 78.67% double dose. So we are very much getting close to that 80% double dose. We have 4,404 people in home quarantine at the moment. Uh, the first doses are slowing though. So I say to uh, the almost 15% um, of eligible Queenslanders out there who are not yet vaccinated for one dose, please come out and get vaccinated. The borders are opening on Monday. Our mandatory vaccination social measures come into effect on the 17th of December and we want everyone to have a safe uh, Christmas so and enjoy time with loved ones and you can do that by going and getting vaccinated. Uh, I can also advise that in relation to uh, the Gold Coast cluster, one of those individuals we advised worked at a, a private aged care facility. The good news is um, of 89 tests have come back and they've all been negative. So that's wonderful news um, for the residents and staff at that aged care facility. Now, some people may have noticed, uh, and I should say, there's likely to be more exposure sites on the Gold Coast uh, going up as we interview this gentleman. Uh, so please keep an eye on our website if you have been at the Gold Coast or you live in the Gold Coast area. Uh, we did put the Cairns Airport up as an exposure site. Uh, that is because we had a um, overseas traveller who had travelled through New South Wales, uh, was eligible to come up and fly into Cairns and then to quarantine, but they have since tested positive. So people on that flight and at the airport are being asked to just have a look at the date and times and follow the advice of the public health unit in relation to any testing or any quarantine requirements. 